The challenge about conducting and performing this work is, is more an emotional one than, uh, than I, I would think a technical one, even though it's, it's uh, the, the forces at work are a very large orchestra with, with singers. Um, it's, it's, it's to capture the spirit and the essence of, of, of the work. That, that's mostly the challenge. Um, and, and to be in the same uh, mindset that he was in when he was, was composing the work. Uh, the the tone of the music is very is very reflective. It's it's based on um, uh, uh, seven poems uh, based on the Chinese flute, which are Chinese Chinese poems that had just been recently translated into into German. And he used seven poems uh, for six movements. Uh, they're very reflective, reflecting on life, death, and um, uh, the. Uh, eternal spring that happens. It ends, it ends quite, uh, quite on, on, a, on a positive note, even though he bears uh, all of his uh, sorrow in, in the work. Um, it's a fusion, I think, for the first time of, of a symphonic form and a song cycle. And he's the, he, I think it's the first time that a composer used that, that fusion of, of the two forms. <laughs> and he uses it to, to, to great emotional, great emotional effect. Well, Mahler's legacy, I guess, would be um, he was the composer responsible for stretching uh, the greatest art form in classical music to its extremities. He, he took the symphony uh, to to uh, its maximum possibilities in the sense that uh, it became, uh, symphonies became longer than they had been before, more complex, more intricate, uh, and uh, made it very difficult for composers after him to, uh, to take that art form beyond where he was able to take it. So Mahler would be uh, the composer who took symphonic form uh, to its golden period, the golden age. Mahler composed, finished composing uh, Song of the Earth, I believe, in uh, 1909, which was two years before his death. And it received its premiere on, in uh, 19, 1911. Uh, I think Bruno Walter um, uh, conducted the premiere of it. And it is the most personal of, of his uh, of his works, uh, he, he actually describes it as he believing it's the most personal statement. Um, it uh, it happened in a period after 1907 when three major uh, crises happened in his life. He was forced out of the position of uh, of music director of the Vienna Vienna Opera. His daughter uh, died. And he found out that he had uh, uh, this heart disease, a heart problem, that, uh, and he, he, he knew that the end would be near. So he, he had to reevaluate uh, everything that had happened in his life. And uh, it was as if uh, starting all over again, looking at uh, life, nature, and music, uh, um, and reminiscing uh, about what uh, he had gone through. He was in a transcendental period. He knew he didn't have much time left. He was in that kind of a frame of mind when he, when he wrote the work.